Ontario's minimum wage goes up to $14 on January 1st. To discuss the issue is Shonda Birch, a frontline worker with the Wage Fairness Association. Miguel, this is great. $14 an hour will give millions of low-income earners the ability to afford not only rent, but also a small to medium amount of food. And representing the other side of the issue is Todd. Hey. I'm sorry, what are Todd's qualifications? I don't know, but he has a lot of opinions about stuff, so... Uh, more job makers, less job takers, am I right? Are you a business owner? Uh, no, I'm in IT. Shonda, should we worry that employers will hire fewer people? I've made up my mind that we should, but I'm phrasing this opinion as a question. Oh, come on, that is not fair. Hey, lots of people agree, right, Todd? Big time. Actually, most economists believe small businesses will hire the same number of people because their needs stay the same. And big businesses can indeed afford to pay a living wage. No, I disagree. Well put. Okay, you've clearly just stacked this panel with a yes man to give voice to a mostly disproven opinion. Todd, it's clear Shonda and Miguel hate jobs. What's your opinion? Buddy, I hate to break it to you, but you gotta have jobs. What, what does that even mean? Shonda, won't this drive business away, tanking the economy? No matter what you say, I'm going to make a doubtful noise afterward. I really don't think so. Huh. By raising people's purchasing power, you put money back into the economy. No, and I don't care. Minimum wage workers having enough to live off has literally nothing to do with you. I think Kathleen Wynne is bad. Very insightful. Huh. Well, that's all the time we have. Wow, we've never had a worse guest. I know, that lady was nuts. Good work, Todd. <laughs> After the break, every single climate scientist in the world has weighed in on global warming. But what does Todd think? The Beaverton. All new episode Wednesday on Comedy.